Welcome to Meraki Monday. I'm Dan Stewart here with Bobby Young, and we're going to talk about the Meraki Vision Portal that is an extra app you can add to your desktop to make it easy to manage your Meraki Vision cameras. Now, I had this installed on my computer, so Bobby didn't, and I figured it would make sense to help walk through a quick demo of how that would look when trying to add that to your browser version. Uh, so for this instance, we are using uh, Chrome as our browser to instigate the uh, app to be added. And uh, Bobby, can you just log us into the Meraki portal here and we'll show you how to add the vision portal to your desktop. So this network has a lot of our cameras uh, within our business transformation center. So it just makes it easy to kind of show all of the video walls and cameras that we can view from the dashboard itself. So for this one, let's move down to the cameras section and we'll see there's actually a, a Meraki vision portal uh, right there from the monitoring section of our Meraki cameras. So this is a portal that as of today, it is in beta mode. So they're constantly adding, evolving and, and adding to this solution. Uh, but for this view, we get to specifically focus on just the cameras themselves. We can see where they are. We can see the video walls. We can go into individual cameras. And essentially, this is a great place when you're trying to use it as a uh, a camera only admin, right? They only want to have access to the cameras. They want the look and feel of a traditional camera, like an NVR uh, platform software. This takes them into something that may be more familiar to somebody who has spent a lot of time with physical security and with a separate software, but we know that it's coming from the Meraki dashboard within your browser. So for this trick, what we're going to do is in your address bar of the Chrome browser next to the little favorite star, you should see a little uh, icon that will yeah, exactly that install Meraki Vision. So we're going to want to do that. Now, if you don't see that button, uh, it may be because you have ad blocker on or you're in an aggressive um, extensions blocking mode of some sort. So you might have to kind of play around with it again. This is in beta. So uh, they do recommend, obviously, you know, play around with it um, and any feedback you have, go back to the feedback thing in the corner, very similar to the make a wish on uh, Meraki um, uh, dashboard uh, and give them feedback. Um, so in, in our case, what I will probably do is, is um, you know, give them a little feedback on, you know, what I had to do basically to, uh, to get that to show up. Um, but to your point, Dan, uh, let's go ahead and install Meraki Vision. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, essentially you just fixed the glitch in that case. <laughs> um, so once that's done and you click the button, it, it kind of takes you out of that tab. We'll notice that the browser essentially, um, you know, dissolves the tab because now if you look at your taskbar, you'll notice a Meraki logo, which is where your Meraki vision page will be loaded. So if we click on that, we now will have Meraki vision without Chrome being loaded without having to log in again to a Meraki dashboard because we were logged into the dashboard when we instigated this app to be loaded it will show us that we are already into this platform by being logged in automatically so this allows us to essentially help anybody that is a camera only admin to make it even easier to gain access to their cameras because now we can pin that icon to their taskbar, pin it to their start bar within Windows uh, and allow you to uh, have that easily connected icon to jump right into the Meraki Vision portal and get on your day with all the cameras and functionality that you do want. Well, before you sign out, Bobby, if for some reason you said, hey, this, this app wasn't for me, if you click on the three little button drop down um, in the browser, yep the uninstall Meraki vision is right there. So for some reason, you're trying to find a way to get rid of the app or you didn't want it on your screen. And you said, hey, I just want to move on from this. Uh, we can actually delete that right from the vision portal uh, and delete that uh, out of your Chrome extension opportunity. Okay. So, so perfect example do that for someone right who's using a, a hotel desk or maybe a, um, a computer that's not necessarily theirs, you know, to keep logged in all the time. Exactly correct, right? So. It's another way just to make sure that we're showing off where you can add it, which is great. You can log out and you can also remove it all within that vision area.
Dan, I really, really appreciate the time you gave us. Hopefully our uh, viewers also learned something too. Uh, and just like any other time, if you have any questions in regards to the MV cameras or anything Meraki, please don't feel bad about reaching out to us. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.